Today I'm going to show how to correctly change oil in a modern car. Now over the years both cars and the oil that goes in them have changed. For instance in my old Toyota Celica here, I use conventional motor oil and change it every 3,000 miles. That's how older cars were made. But a modern car like this Toyota Matrix that has variable valve timing, it's much more complex and really requires a synthetic oil. These oils are lighter for tighter tolerances. In this case, it's a 5W30 oil. So you match it with this platinum oil. That's also a 5 weight dirty oil. And of course, you can use any quality synthetic oil. I'm using this because it's a good oil and it was on sale at Walmart for five bucks a quart. And in the case of this 2007 Matrix, Toyota requires 5,000 mile oil changes. Now if you have a late model car like this Toyota that uses the 0W oil, you can use the Penzar Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic Oil and you only need to change it every 10,000 miles or once a year. Which is what Toyota suggests, to change it once every 10,000 miles or once a year. And if you're going to change your oil that less frequently, you really need a better oil filter than some of the cheap ones that don't filter that well. But how can you tell if the filter is better or not? Well, first let's weigh them to see which has more material in them. Okay, now the cheaper Autolite filter, it weighs 160 grams. While the Platinum filter, it weighs 192 grams. So there's obviously more in the fancy filter. Well, let's cut them in half and look inside. We got the grinder and cut them in half. And we'll cut the platinum one in half too. Now when we compare the insides, the cheaper filter and the expensive ones have the same type of shell, but the seal on the cheaper one melted right off and fell. Well the one here just stuck on the better filter, so it's got a better seal on it to begin with. But the main difference is the filtration material. The cheaper one you can see has much less pleats, so there's less surface area, and it uses a cheaper paper material, while this is a better composite one that can hold a lot more dirt. And when we look at the bottom of the filters, the anti-drain back valve, it's real cheap, made out of plastic on a cheaper filter, but here it's all metal with a metal spring, so it's going to last a lot longer. So if you're going through all the trouble using the right oil for your engine, you might as well use the right filter that's going to filter it for a long time. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to change your own oil. You just have to jack the car up a little, because all modern cars are pretty low to the ground. Now some guys don't really worry to put a jack stand under here, but really, we're just jacking the car up, the tires are still on the car, so even if it went down, the car would still land on the tires, it wouldn't crush you. And here's where years of experience have taught me a lot. Sometimes it's hard to get those drain plugs off, so get a long bar like this with a socket on it, then you can easily pull it loose. And of course you have your drain pan ready to catch the oil when it comes out. Here's your oil drain plug, you just put the socket on, give it a big pull. Oh, there it goes. And with your fingers and gloves so you don't hurt anything, out it comes. And of course realize that you should run your engine for maybe 5 minutes and let it sit for 10 minutes before changing the oil, so the oil is warmed up and flows better, but it's not too hot, that's why you wait 10 minutes to change it. And realize for the drain plug, it's a good idea to get a new gasket every time to put on before you put it back on to make sure it doesn't leak. Then once it stops dripping, put the plug on with your fingers, then put the socket on to make it nice and tight. Then comes the oil filter, now I'm strong. So I cannot screw these things by hand, but sometimes they stick on, or you're maybe not that strong. So they make these simple tools that cost about seven bucks at AutoZone. They go right on the oil filter and you put a wrench and an extension on them, and then they can turn them off real easy. Now before you put the new oil filter on, here's a tip. Stick your finger in the oil, wipe it around the lip where the seal is. That makes it seal better, plus it makes it easier to take off next time. Then you just screw the filter back on, make it nice and snug. Then you just pour the correct amount of oil back in. And there's two ways of doing that. You can either look it up in your book, Google it and find what it is, or you can do it the old fashioned way. You can check it before you change it and make sure it's full, then measure exactly what comes out, put the same amount back in, you can't beat that. And then the question arises, what do you do with the old oil? Well, I pour mine in a container and take it to a recycling center. And many auto parts stores take your old oil too. You can just pour it back in the containers it came in and give it back to them and they'll recycle it. So now you know how to correctly change oil in a modern car. 
because you don't want to ruin one of these fancy modern engines. They cost a fortune to repair and oil changes are simple and quick. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.